Hey guys, today we are going to be upgrading a HP Pavilion P6000 computer. We are going to be adding new features to it, such as we're going to be adding a, a dedicated graphics card, and we are going to be adding a new power supply, and we are going to be adding some more RAM into this computer. So right now, the, the power supply we are going to be putting in it is the Thermaletic TR2-430W. And because this computer is a little older, it runs Windows 7, I found the perfect perfect uh, dedicated graphics card that came from an old computer, but it still works with Windows 7, and at least it's better than having no dedicated graphics card. So we're going to be putting in the NVIDIA Quadro FX. So we're going to switch over to phone, that way we can show you what we're doing. Oh, it's two gigabytes. We're going to be adding two gigabytes of RAM into this computer as well. So, right now, this is what the computer looks like. We already took out the old, the old power supply that used to go right there. And now let's just get to it. We're going to grab this power supply. And we're going to just be very careful. Because with computers, you always want to be touching metal. Otherwise, if you touch something else and you shock something like the motherboard, then it could actually fry your entire computer up and you would no longer be able to use your computer. And that would not be good. So this should easily just slide in like that. And we're going to grab our screwdriver and we're going to screw this in. Now that we have that screwed in, we will, we are actually not going to plug anything in yet because we want to be careful. We're now going to add in our RAM. This is where our RAM goes. We have already two sticks in there. We're just going to simply add this one right in. Just like this. So now that we have that RAM in there, we will grab our dedicated graphics card. We're actually we're gonna put it in. So right now we're gonna quickly just unscrew this so we can put it in. Now that it is unscrewed, we are going to grab the card, be very careful, and it will just go right in place. We will then grab this back again, and then just screw it back in. Next, we're just going to grab our cords and we're going to make sure we plug the right ones in. So, let's see, we have our main power, which we'll easily plug in right there. Now that that's plugged in, we will grab this one. This one we'll plug in too our graphics card now that that is plugged in we will grab 
this one. This one just gives power to. This one gives the power to our hard drive because we kind of need that. And then this one, last of all, we will plug in to supply power to the CPU right there. Now that we have everything plugged in, we will just kind of stuff these in here. Have to be careful though, because if you shock anything, like I said, you'll ruin your computer. Put the case back together, and then I will show you guys what it's like when it's done. As you can see, we have it starting Windows. Like I said earlier, it is Windows 7. So this graphics card can only work on Windows 7, sadly. So, if you were planning on using Windows 10 with it, it won't work, really. But, it's okay, I mean, it's loading, it's doing everything I need it to. See? I mean, Windows 7 just got to the point where it's no longer supported, but it still works good, so... Thanks for watching.